but um, Digby and I spent uh, about 35 minutes talking about the Joe Biden thing, particularly uh, in the Tara Reid uh, accusations against him. Um, it was before what happened this morning. And um, so it actually, um, but I think just as relevant because we set basically a standard. Uh, so we will talk about it, but there's other things uh, to discuss as well. Um, and so I would encourage you to go and listen to that show if you want to hear more of that conversation. But we will we will sum it up when she gets here. Um, of course, this is we're now in this sort of a nebulous zone in in New York, anyways. Cuomo has confirmed what I think everybody knew, and certainly Bill de Blasio had announced a couple of weeks ago that the the kids would not be returning to school this year. And there, we're in a very, very strange time. We'll we'll, we'll talk more uh, with with Digby about that. But um, let's play this um, clip. Joe Biden on uh, Morning Joe with Mika Brzezinski, and um, here he is coming out and. Um, what I think is very important, particularly for him to do at this point. And, um, you know, there's a couple of different uh, takes on this in terms of uh, the sort of the ethical and moral questions and the sheer political questions. But um, here's Joe Biden on uh, Morning Joe addressing the question of these allegations. She says in 1993, Mr. Vice President, that you pinned her against the wall and reached under her clothing and penetrated her with your fingers. Would you please go on the record with the American people? Did you sexually assault Tara Reid? No, it is not true. I'm saying unequivocally, it never, never happened. And it didn't. It never happened. Do you remember her? Do you remember any any types of complaints that she might have made? I don't remember any type of complaint she <clears throat> may have made. It was 27 years ago. And uh, I don't remember, nor does anyone else that I'm aware of. And uh, the fact is that I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember any complaint ever having been made. Have you or your campaign, have you reached out to her? No, I have not reached out to her. It's 27 years ago. There, this never happened. And uh, when she first made the claim, we made it clear that it never happened. And uh, that's as simple as that. In the past 30 minutes or so, you released a statement on Medium. And among other things, you, you, you write this. There's only one place a complaint of this kind could be. The National Archives. I am requesting that the Secretary of State ask of uh, the Senate ask the archives to identify any record of the complaint she alleges she filed. If there was any such complaint, the record will be there. Are you preparing us for a complaint that might be revealed in some way? Are you confident there is nothing? I'm confident there's nothing. No one ever brought it to the attention of me 27 years ago. This is any assertion at all. No one that I'm aware of in my campaign, at, excuse me, my, my Senate office at the time, is aware of any such uh, request and, uh, uh, or any such complaint. Uh, and, uh, and so the, I, 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 I'm not worried about it at all. If there is a complaint, that's where it would be. That's where it would be filed. And if it's there, put it out, but I've never seen it. No one has it, I'm aware of. So there it is. Um, Mika goes on to suggest, well, what about, uh, and we will, we, we'll, we'll talk about this later, but she goes on to ask, like, and what about the University of Delaware records? These are a different set of records that, um, that are his office's personal, not personal, but his office's uh, records. And the complaint that would have been filed would have been filed with the Senate, with a Senate office. So the National Archives is where it would be. Um, and, um, I, you know, we can talk more about this with, with Digby. Um, my understanding is in the context of, of the interview with um, 
with Katie Halper that she did say that she filled out a complaint form with what sounded like, I mean, she couldn't remember the, the specifics. I mean, I don't know who, who would, uh, with a, I guess, what would be like a Senate or some type of congressional HR office. Um, and so if they exist, the complaint exists, it would exist there. It's unclear whether she would have, what she would have, you know, uh, spe how specific she would have been about the complaint, but at least we will get a sense of this. Um, we will talk more about this with Digby, but from as a political matter, you know, uh, this is exactly what he, he needed to do. Um, I don't know if it will, it will sort of calm the waters for him or not, but um, this is what, what, what needed to happen. His statement I thought was, uh, if I was to, uh, if I was tasked with writing a statement, I would have written something uh, very similar like this. They're not, attacking uh, Tara Reid. They are, um, they are accepting the fact that she, she has the right to, uh, to, to make these assertions and they're categorically denying it. I mean, in many respects, this is up to the uh, American people at this point as to how they're going to react to this. Um, we'll see.